Good morning, everybody. Uh, I like uh, how enthusiastic people have been about all our, our one take videos. It's, it's great because I can do a lot of them every week. We are booked through the end of August. So if you want to do a, a one take in September, um, send me the link to your wheel well page to uh, the Smoking Tire Facebook. And if you're in LA, we can get you on the schedule. So uh, this is Kyle. Kyle, morning. welcome morning. to the program. Morning. Thank you for bringing out your car. This is Kyle's Mazda Speed 3. And this is a first gen Mazda Speed 3. Which means it's not ugly, um, first and foremost. That's it is not case. an ugly car. Wow, 176,000 miles on this thing, huh? Yep. Serious mileage on this car. Oh, and your shift knob shows it. It looks like the shift knob of my Lexus. So what have you done to your car? Uh, it's a built motor. It's on a four gallons of V85. Oh, okay. 3076. Wow, so, all right. Going down around 420. 420 at the wheels? 420 at the wheels. Holy hell. Okay, well, what we learned with the uh, with the last one I drove was that uh, it torque steered like crazy. Is that about what I can expect here? It'll spin. It'll spin. How, do you like E85? Are you a fan it's of that good. stuff? It's good. Can you get it where you live? Oh yeah, it's an Arcadia, Milwaukee Senna. So because I I can't get it where I live, and I find it to be unbelievably annoying. Because every time I use it, the car goes through it so fast, and then I'm like out in the middle of nowhere with no E85. I, I get 20 in the freeway though, so it's, it's not terrible. I guess when we're when we're doing things and filming, we're using quite a bit more than oh, you yeah. probably are just driving around. Okay. okay. Well, 420 at the wheels. Who built the motor? Uh, it's Adam at EQT and uh, Torrance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's power. All right. Here we go. What's your red line? Uh, it should be about 68. Well, I'll be honest, your gauges are impossible to read. Why is that? Oh, because your headlights were on. Okay, Here now they're go. off, and now I can read them. Wow, it was just black there for a minute. Okay. Yeah, but the motor was rebuilt at uh, 102, so. Oh, so you've got you've got some miles on it. 74,000 on it. Wow. Jesus, this thing goes. Now, have you done anything with your brakes? Uh, no. Okay, yeah. That that should be your next step because. It's got fresh pads. Just pads? Yeah. Okay. Because as we're uh, as we're going along, that, just that one pull, I was sort of like, and brakes. And you do have quite a bit more power than you have brakes. No ABS either. No ABS. Yeah, right. I got a speed sensor that's out, so no ABS or traction control. Oh, good. What kind of tires do you have? Uh, they're BFG KDWs. Oh, those are good tires. Whoa. Wow, man, this is a lot different than the, uh, the <laughs> Mazda Speed Protégé. The Protégé was like, oh, this is kind of quick. This one, you're like, oh, yeah, it's fast. Here's a nice straightaway. Let's see what we got here. Jesus. Wow. That is a, that's a fast car. Um, actually, it torque steers less than the, the other one I drove, yeah. which is interesting. I wonder if that's a traction control issue because you don't have any. Or if that's, uh, is you do a build trans or a special diff or anything? No, it's it's stock. It's, uh, that's all standard stuff, huh? No electric gaze right now. Huh. I wonder if that has something to do with the torque steer. Whoa, this is, a, this is a fast car. That's the stock, stock clutch, too. So. Stock clutch? Yeah. Not the original clutch. No, uh, at the time it was, uh, when I, uh, I roast, roasted the third cylinder, so it's, it was the difference between getting forged rods or. Uh, Going with a uh, like a six puck oh. or something, so I chose to go with the rods. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean without an engine, the rest of the car is pretty useless, isn't well, it? Well, the the OEM rods were fine. I just roasted a cylinder, so I could have used the stock ones. So when I heel toe it, I have to kind of boot the throttle a little more than I do in other cars. It's a bit numb when you're just uh, rev matching, so you got to use a little bit extra on that throttle to get it to match properly. Wow. But this is a fast car, man. Yeah. I'm surprised. I, I, uh, you know, it's stock looking, so it's pretty, uh, it's pretty sleepery. Did you even debadge it? I didn't look at the back. Nah, nah. Still it's... got some badges on. Because okay. if you debadge one of these things, especially a first gen, it can be super sleepery. Jesus, man. It's uh, it's got a tapered boost curve too, so it full boost around 38. And... 22 and builds up to 26 by red lines. So. It's uh, but it's it's uh, by RPM, not by speed or gear, by RPM, right? RPM, okay, yeah. cool. Well, down the hill, it's uh, it's certainly got extra power. We should uh, let's flip around and go up the hill and see how well it gets that power down because front wheel drive cars traditionally have uh, some struggles when going up the hill on power. Uh, 
Go, here's the turning radius. Can we make it? Oh yeah. It's got a fresh alignment, so it oversteers more than understeers right now. Man. You don't really get boost until about, yeah, 3,800, four grand is where you really start getting some boost. Right, right around there. But uh, if you keep it above that, wow. Makes good sounds. This is stock cat pack too. It's a really? Callus exhaust. About it. Or oh, callus down by it. Little wheel hop there. <laughs> but yeah. It's uh it's it's fucking weird. It's interesting though. I, am I getting is it wheel hop that I'm getting a little bit when boost comes on? Or just struggling for traction? Might be I have the dampening set all the way up, so. All the way up meaning Wait. stiff? Yeah. Well for full stiff, this is not actually that stiff. But I can feel the tires really struggling for grip every time I hit boost. So much power for a front wheel drive car. Yeah, I had NTO 5s before this. Were they better? Did you like them better. better or worse than this? A lot better. You did. <laughs> okay, there's that torque steer. When you really go flat, it, it moves around. Okay, there's one of hooks. Believe it or not, there are not a, a lot of places on this road where you can actually go flat. Wow, this car rips, dude. <laughs> Faster than a stock turbo. Yeah. Too. Well, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure if this is what I want personally out of a car. I don't know. This is a lot of horsepower to go through a front-wheel drive car, but uh, it's cool. Go, go, go! Wow, it's all right. Yeah, it's moving around a bit now. I mean, it's not. It's not trying to go into the trees, but it definitely requires your full concentration. Yeah, and some brakes. You can use some brakes. Go! Oh, it turns in well, though. It's got good grip on the corners. I mean, it doesn't feel, un, you know, it feels composed through these corners, but it just doesn't. It wants to rip the tires right off the road. So much power in front wheel drive. Wow. Like it, though. We're gonna have to get you some brakes, sir. <laughs> we start a Kickstarter for Kyle's brakes for his Speed 3. Call it a life saving campaign because without them, he'll probably die in this car. Price and fluid, too. And we're catching up to an old school gray market G Wagon. There you go. 80s G Wagon. Sweet. Yeah. The only G Wagons I have respect for. 80s G Wagons. Awesome. Ultimate so. What are the first gens going for in the used market right now? Uh, you should be able to get one, good one, good, nice, clean one for probably around twelve. Nice twelve mileage. grand, yeah. Okay. And has it been a good car? This one? Yeah. Oh boy, it's been a money pit. Has it I, really? I could have bought myself a nice Mercedes or BMW. Really? Oh no. It's probably a forty, forty-five thousand dollar car with all this stuff. Really? Oh, the motor. Man. It's my third turbo. Oh, that's not good to oh, hear, yeah. is it? Oh, yeah. Forty-five grand into a Mazda. Oh. Sorry. I mean, look, I'm not one to talk. I now have, even even if you factor in stuff that I have that's sponsored, I have almost 30 into an 88 Mustang, so I know how you feel. Oh, yeah. But is this your this is your daily driver? Oh, yeah. Is your only car? Yeah, we you see. When you've got... Uh, you drove 45,000 miles last year. That's a lot of miles for one year for someone, someone who doesn't drive commercially. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes the power for sure. It's, it's certainly neat and interesting. Uh, <laughs> we need to get you brakes, dude. <laughs> because this is way too much power for stock brakes. You gotta be able to haul it down. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for letting it's me drive your car, Kyle. If you wanna see more about uh, the specific parts that Kyle used in his build, check out his wheel well page. I'll throw a link in the description. And uh, this was interesting. I, I, the variety of cars I get to drive is unbelievable. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, good luck uh, keeping this thing alive and uh, getting it stopped. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>